Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. I hope everybody's doing well today. Aries, congratulations, you're not last this time around. This reading will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. Please keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa may play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I appreciate your existence. I cross watched for Aries for a very long time. They're difficult to love. Not putting you on blast, Aries. I love you guys. You know I do. I have lots of friends and family that are Aries. I, I dated one for a just under six months. Almost made it six months. It's actually like, if I stop and think about it, like my third longest relationship. Really? <laughs> six months was my third longest relationship. How, how frightening is that? That, that's, no, fourth longest. I forgot there was that one dude, but yeah. I try not to think about him. That that was a horrible soulmate connection. That was awful. Anyway. Also, if it doesn't resonate, you can check your moon rising your Venus sign readings and hit us up for a personal reading if you so choose. I'm not gonna twist your arm. Alright. Aries, let's get your cards on the table, gang. See what you guys got going on for the first half of June. Isn't that terrible? I forgot about, like, the first man I was engaged to. That's terrible. Because I try not to think about it. That's why. Aries, why are you here? Ten of Swords reversed. Oh, man. Sun ain't shining, is it? That That's rough. That? Mm. That looks like it. You're trying like hell to come out of that state of sadness. You're trying like hell to let the sun shine, but it's just not. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Seven of Cups reversed. Hmm. There's a lot of confusion in regards to this connection, isn't it? You have mixed feelings. Very mixed feelings. Looks like you're having a hard time making a decision about this person. Could be some red flags involved. What do you think of them? That would be- Oh yeah, that's why. Seven of Swords. There's some shady shit going on here. They have way too many secrets, possibly way too many things that they don't talk about. Hmm, okay, well what do you want from them? Hmm, double reversed. Hmm. Could be Capricorn you're dealing with. At this point, I also have air and water on the board. And specifically, we'll get specific. Why not? Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini. Okay. If they mean anything to you, you know. If it's setting off a light bulb. You want them to disconnect from whatever's dragging them down. You want them to take the chain off the cement shoes. Mm. Something very powerful that they're still dealing with and you just want it over with. Okay. Maybe you want the sun to shine again in their life. Okay. How do they feel about you? Four of Cups. Hmm. They may be catching the vibe that you can't see what they're trying to offer because you're spending way too much time looking at the other three cups. You're not seeing it. Potentially. What do they think of you? Page of cups reversed. You might be feeling it, but you don't say it. You don't show it. You don't express it. 
very much an Aries thing. <laughs> I love you guys. I am not trying to put you on blast. I don't want to offend anybody. I've experienced it. I've lived it. I've stopped at the gift shop on the path of life and bought the bumper stick t-shirt and coffee mug. Okay? You don't always say it. What they want from you the six of swords in the reverse okay a return we'll throw a clarifier on it first thought popping into my head they want a return to that place of normalcy or happiness you guys may have been kicking it for a minute Okay. All right. What's the obstacle? Two of cups reversed. The obstacle is the connection not being mutually felt. There's secrets. There's stuff. There's confusion. There's things not being said. Okay, what needs to be done that hasn't been done? Five of Wands reversed. Okay. You need to come out of a state of conflict. Obviously, there's conflict here. All right. Yeah, why not? All right, my Aries friends. Let's get a little clarity for you. Gotta pay the light bill. Mm. What? I'll pay it. Just gotta take the money out of the checking account. No worries. Okay, come on. One more. There we go. It's having the five minutes to go click, click, click on the phone and pay the damn bill. Anyway. Hmm. It's pretty much cut and dry. You know what? Fuck it. We'll throw a clarifier on all of them. Jumper. Can I get a jumper? I don't like calling them jumpers. Can we get a flyer? It's more of a flyer. Because to me, I don't know why they, they fly across the damn table. I don't know why. Sometimes they hit the floor. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Sun card reversed. It might be a Leo. You may be questioning how strong this connection actually is. Because you're both feeling it. It's just not to the same degree. Confusion. You want to know what's going on. You just want the damn sun to shine again. Okay. It's not shining. We established this already. Why is the Seven of Swords here?
Queen of Wands reversed. Loss of passion. Secrets. Loss of passion. I feel it coming. I better throw these on. Pardon the glare. Okay. <clears throat> Three of Cups reverse popped out. They could be harboring a secret about a past relationship. Something they disconnected from. Wow. Things that didn't move forward. Possibly family issues. They could have no contact with their family and don't, don't talk about it. Super weird. Okay, why is the devil card here? Why is the devil reversed here? You want to talk. Four of Wands. You want... You want them to disconnect from whatever they're having issues with. You want the cement shoes off their feet. You want the stability. You want, you want the connection to return. You want the celebration. You want that connection possibly the way it used to be. You want to open the door of the next chapter. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. Well. Well. You're starting to mirror each other a little bit. At least in regards to what you both want. Why is the four of cups here? Hi. This one's reversed. <clears throat> They feel like the match isn't striking. They feel like this isn't firing off because you're ignoring what you're, they're trying to hand you because you're just concentrating on the spilt cups. You're concentrating on the negatives and not the positive. <clears throat> Why is the page of cups reversed here? The hermit. Okay. You're isolating. They think you're isolating. You're not saying what they need to hear. You're introspecting a lot. Okay. One more. Okay, I'll take two. Queen of Swords reversed and the Queen of Pentacles. They think you have a bad attitude and you're possibly a little bit sassy. But they definitely think you have an amazing amount of self-worth. But you're isolating. You're not, you're not communicating what they need to hear. Ultimately, bottom line. They think you have a lot to offer. They, they definitely think you can offer them stability. But 
it's those little words that you don't express, those things you don't say that's affecting it right now. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Three of Wands reversed. They don't want to, they don't want to wait anymore. It's like either we return to a place where we were and I'm not going to wait for this to happen. One more. Hi. Hmm. They're ready to process the heartbreak. They just want to rest. Wow. Okay. They be ready to pick pieces up. They don't want to wait for you to say it. They don't want to wait for you to see it. Why is the two of cups reversed here? The obstacle. Four of Cups reversed. The connection's not as strong as it used to be. Someone is straight up ignoring what one is offering the other. They can be straight up ignoring the fact that you can offer them stability. I want you to tell me you love me. I want you to mean it. I want to feel like you mean it. Okay. Okay, I'm tracking that. One more. Whoa! Five of swords reversed. Five of cups in the upright. Someone hasn't picked the pieces up from something. Someone is very sad. Someone is still coping with loss. Not seeing blessings, just seeing three spilt cups. Wow. Okay. So we've gone past just the connection not being as strong as it used to be. There's a bigger problem here. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? The Hierophant came out sideways. Why do they always have to hit the damn table sideways? Okay. What needs to be done that hasn't happened? <laughs> Avoidance of conflict. I'm just calling it quits. Or having the fight <laughs> and saving the relationship. Or flip that around any way you want. Mm -hmm. Having the fight, calling it quits. Avoiding the argument, saving the relationship. Can I get one more, please? Three of Swords. Letting the heartbreak happen. One more. Have y'all talked about this? I mean, really. Have you had the conversation, King of Swords? King of Swords, you need to sit down and have a conversation and try to make it as logical and non-emotional as possible.
Aries, I know you're capable of it. A logical conversation needs to happen. And it needs to be as non-confrontational as possible. So, whoever initiates the conversation, be nice. Watch your tongue. Come from a place of trying to save it, not from calling it quits. But whatever's going to happen is going to happen. If it's a Three of Swords moment, it's a Three of Swords moment. He's holding the last sword. The sword of renewal. The sword that finally ends that ten of swords cycle. You add one, it flips back to the eleven. You know. Numerology. One and one is two. Difficult decisions made. Okay. Wow. Alright. Projected outcome. Reversal of judgment. It's a card of return. It's not terrible. All right, let's get some advice. Yeah, three of swords in the reverse, king of wands in the reverse. You're not going to get through the heartbreak until you sit down and have the conversation. So everybody needs to sit down. Put the truck in park. Turn the hazards on. And talk. Two of Wands reversed. Hermit reversed. As long as one of you is hang on, hanging on to a wand from the past, there will be no forward movement. And it really doesn't matter how long you sit and think about this and self-isolate. It's not going to change anything. Until you have the conversation, nothing's going to change. Hang on to the wand all you want, but that's not how you move. You know what I'm saying? Five of Wands reversed, Ten of Cups reversed. Avoiding the conversation because you are avoiding conflict could very well lead to you not getting your happy ending. Sometimes conflict has to happen. Prince of Swords and the Eight of Cups reversed. A conversation, again with the damn conversations, they know they need to talk, hello? You need to throw the information out there if you want this return to happen. Talk, 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 talk. Move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. Aries, I love you. Looks like you've been through it. The sun will shine again. I promise. But y'all need to talk. All right. I'm going to check out. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you feel so compelled, I'm not going to twist your arm. If you want a personal reading, you know where to find me. Go down into the description of the video. Or go to the About section of the channel. Make sure to read the disclaimer. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Love you, bits. I'll see you Friday for the weekend top and bottom. Catch you later.